All right, so the last video in this series deals with how to take what we have so far with our corridor being built and how to turn it into something that looks more like this. And specifically what I'm talking about is just along the corridor. So this area of cut and this area of fill, uh, we just want to represent that on our drawings with these hatch patterns and not all the other information that comes with our corridor. So the way we do that, as far as cleaning this up. First place to start is let's get rid of all these points. So if we come over here to point groups, right click on point groups, go to properties, and take no display and move it to the top and then hit OK. That gets rid of our points and that just cleans it up, makes it a little easier to work with. So now what we're going to do is actually just take a polyline and we're going to draw a polyline over the edges of our corridor. So I'm just going to type PL for polyline and hit enter. And I'm going to come in here and I want to get the endpoint of each of these segments. And so I'm just going to trace over the top of my corridor all the way around in this area. Once I come to here, I'm going to come straight over because this is where we're switching from being an area of cut to an area of fill. And then come all the way back over here and then finish it off right there and then hit enter. And you'll notice I've got one closed sketch that I can now apply a hatch pattern to. So if we take a look at that in 3D, you're going to see your corridor being up at a certain elevation. And then because of where I started, the point that I clicked on to start from, it was at an elevation that was much lower than my corridor. And since it's a two-dimensional polyline, that polyline's down here at this elevation, which is perfectly fine. But students in the past, the, um, the ones who had some trouble with hatching, it was usually because of this, because not all of the points of that polyline were at the same elevation. So if you're having trouble with your hatch, uh, take a look at this and make sure that it's a nice, flat, level polyline. So we take a look at that. Now we can go back to our top view. So now we're look back looking at this directly from above. So what we're going to do is we're, we're going to apply a hatch to that. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and sketch all these. So I'm just going to draw a polyline around all these different areas. So I'm going to have my first one here, second one. There's going to be a third one right there, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So go ahead and do that, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I've got all those different polylines created. So now I want to uh, just isolate those. And so I'm going to actually turn my corridor off. And so we're just using the corridor to reference those areas of daylight, which are the extents of the cut and extents of the fill regions. And so to turn off my corridor, I'm going to come over here into tool space on the prospector tab, come down to corridors, expand out corridors, find Weber Parkway Road, Right click on it, go to properties. And when the properties of this come up, I'm going to go to parameters and I'm just going to uncheck the box right there for baseline Weber Parkway and then hit OK. And then it asks me if I want to rebuild. Yes, rebuild. And you'll see that the corridor goes away. It still exists in the drawing. You haven't deleted it. We're just choosing not to display it. So I created it so I could trace over it. And now you can see these different. Um, areas that I have. So the next what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn off my surface. Uh, just makes it a little easier to hatch it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the surface, come up to surface properties, click on surface properties. And in here under my surface style, I'm just going to do no display, hit OK. And now when I go to hatch this, it'll be a lot easier. So H for hatch and hit enter. Select Annotative hatch, it's going to be a, I'm going to use that ANSI 31. Go ahead and click inside those couple of areas. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to adjust my angle a little bit. We'll use a 45 degree angle for that. And then these down here on this other end, they'll be the same. So I'll go ahead and include those now too. And so, 
those areas look good, I'll go ahead and do close hatch pattern. And then I can come back and do these middle ones. It's going to be the same settings. Let's try something a little different here. Let's use uh, an angle of 135 for those. So it's a little different than the first set that we made and uh, apply some of that contrast. And go ahead and hit close hatch creation. And then the last thing there is just getting these assigned to some different layers. So I'm going to bring out my layer property manager by typing LA. I need a couple of new layers, uh, the lines, the poly lines I drew. I'm going to put those on the C road ditch layer. So I'm going to come down here. I'll find C road. I'll click on it. Click on new and call it C hyphen road hyphen D T C H. And the line type will be continuous. You can pick any color you want for that. And then I'm going to make a copy of that one. And that's going to be C hyphen road hyphen D T C H hyphen P A T T for pattern. And again, uh, leave the line type as continuous, pick a different color for it. And now I'll go and assign that stuff to it. So first for my pattern, these areas, these hatch patterns, they're going to go on the C road DTCH PATT. So right there, I can type layoff and select on that. Just makes it a little easier to select my polylines that way. So select all those polylines we drew, put those on the C road DTCH layer. And then you can type lay on, brings everything back. Type lay off again and just turn off my image. So then from there, uh, you should know about everything I know by now. Uh, we've already talked about the alignments and so you should be able to go ahead and finish this up, uh, finish 12.2 up and go ahead and you can uh, print off what you have here. Just show me that you've been all the way through this series and go ahead and turn that in so I can take a look at it. And good luck. Let me know if you have any problems. As always, thanks for watching and good luck.